Okay, and the only thing standing between you and your families is me. So, dismissed. <laughs> What's going on guys? So today or tonight actually my little brother is coming home from Afghanistan and I just finished recording a video so I'm using my whole stand up uh, camera setup right now. I'll take you guys off of the tripod here in a minute. But this is going to be like a vlog slash not vlog. What I'm really going to be doing in this video is showing you guys and documenting the process that uh, me and my family has gone through with my brother coming home from Afghanistan. So I don't really know how this video is going to go. It could be a super short video because what I'm really going to just try to document is the process of him coming home because there's going to be like a ceremony and stuff like that. But I really don't know how long this is going to be. So it could be long, could be super short. But basically I'm going to try and cut out all the vloggy stuff. And then just show you guys or talk about the whole process of my brother coming home. And then you guys can see that. So if you have family members who are in the military, joining the military, if you're joining the military like a lot of my viewers are, then you can kind of know, just have a rough idea just so you know what the process is going to be like whenever you come home from your deployment. Okay, so just to give you guys a quick little rundown on what has taken place so far on how we know when he's coming home and uh, how this whole process has begun. So you don't actually know the exact date that your soldier is going to come home until literally like the couple of days before. Uh, my brother has been communicating to us through like Snapchat and stuff because that's a lot easier than paying a ton of money to actually do phone calls and text messages and stuff. So it's kind of interesting how Snapchat is an awesome way to communicate and FaceTime and stuff on there. Uh, but we did get an email from his unit basically saying that their 82nd Airborne unit that he is with right now, I think it's 2nd Brigade or 1st Brigade or something, they're going to be coming home in four different waves, you know, through four different days. And he's coming home today, which is March 11th, um, which is like the 30 Red Devils. And so the original time that he was supposed to land today is 1620, which is about 420 p.m. for those of you guys who do not know military time. But just so you guys know, the military is just the military, and that has been pushed back all the way to, I think, 12.30 or 0, 0, 30 this morning or tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a long time. So he's going to be getting home late. But in this email, they do let us know kind of what's going to be taking place. And once his flight lands, there's going to be about 30 minute to an hour ceremony. I don't know what the ceremony is. I've never done this before. I've never been to one of these coming home from deployment ceremonies before. So there's going to be about 30 minute to an hour ceremony. They're going to get a little bit of time with family. And then they're going to head over to another, it says PAX shed, where they're going to basically, you know, in process into their units and then get, uh, turn in some gear. And then they're going to be, you know, basically sent back with us, right? So they're going to have a 30 minute to an hour ceremony. It looks like about five to 10 minutes, 20 minutes or so with family just to, you know, give hugs and say, hey, and all that stuff. And then they're going to go in, in process, turn in gear, and then they're released to the family. So that's kind of what the rough outline of this video is going to look like. And as far as this email goes, they've got all kinds of pictures on where to go once you get on base and stuff like that. Uh, I'm somewhat familiar with Fort Bragg, so I should be able to get around uh, pretty easily. Since I'm already in the military, it's going to be a lot easier for me to get into the gate. Whereas for family members, if you are not in the military, uh, you might have a longer process to get into the gate. You might have to get inspected. You might have to do a whole bunch of other stuff for me. I can just roll on through, which is really nice. But as for me right now, I'm just going to head over to my parents' house. It's Sunday, so I'm going to eat the Sunday lunch and stuff with my family. I'm not really going to probably show you guys any of that. Again, I'm going to try to keep this centered around the whole graduation, or not the graduation thing, the whole coming home from deployment video, or else this video would be very long because I suspect I might record a little bit or a good bit at the end of this video. Got a little behind the scenes okay, of James's right, welcome home that, thing was... right now. <laughs> So we got these pictures right here of my brother James. Mom, what's the purpose of these pictures? These pictures are to put up and we're gonna put a sign between it that says, home of the brave, welcome home. And then the pictures are gonna be right there. Yeah. These and we things, have to get plastic paper because it's raining. Yeah, today it's basically raining the entire day. So we had to saran wrap 
the backs of the pictures so that they don't get messed up. All right, it's about 9 p.m. right now. His plane is supposed to land at approximately uh, 12.30 in the morning. So gonna go ahead and leave. Two and a half hour drive for me. I'm gonna meet my family there. So I'll see you guys once I get there. Hi. Are you excited, Christy? I'm so excited. I'm so we excited. are here. <laughs> Alright guys, this is Leah. She is James's girlfriend, right? So, how excited are you? I'm so excited. Like, we can't describe. <laughs> I'm so bet. nervous. Their plane has just landed. <laughs> In approximately 45 minutes, um, when we clear them from the tarmac, we will march them into this room right through these doors here. At which time, we will execute a welcome home ceremony. Following the ceremony, you will be given 30 minutes to reunite with your paratroopers. Following that, all paratroopers will take buses to turn their equipment and will be dropped off at the HHC Brigade Company call to collect their bags and they will be released to you. Okay, so right now they've got to go in process, turn in their gear, and we've got about a two to three hour wait until he can be back with us. So yeah. Wow. How was it? <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> it was good seeing him? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> good, yeah. How do you feel, Mr. Father of the Soldier? I'm very proud. Yes. <laughs> Love very all proud. the boys. Very proud of them. Can't wait to get him home. And the home. girls too. Home, home. Yeah, thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. All right, we're currently got to head over to the pickup location. Uh, I guess we're gonna chill there for a couple hours until he 
arrives, I guess. All right, guys, I am finally home right now. It's like 8.30, uh, so it's been a very long morning for me. My mom is sitting here cooking <laughs> breakfast, and it's her next day, and I haven't gone to sleep yet. So, um, and I haven't gone to sleep with either. <laughs> so it was pretty uh, successful. It was a good day, but I think I'm definitely 100% cutting off the vlog right here <laughs> because I am tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys kind of got some kind of idea of what you can expect whenever people are coming home from a deployment. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. I do this for my father, move I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean, no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister, my wife and my kids, cause they part of the team. I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside, that's why I do